Hi YouTube, I'm Bonit again, and today I want us to play a little philosophical game um, called Playing God. Um, yeah, it's it's a little drill, and I um, I recommend you to play it too. Let's assume you, and for that matter, this example will be mine. Let's assume I'm a god. Actually, I'm the god. I created it all, and for the past five billion years, you've been worshiping the wrong guys. And uh, now I decide to reveal myself uh, to some kind of uh, species uh, in the universe. And for that example, I will choose humans, although I could have chosen cockroaches and cows. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, now, before I go into the par paradox, um, a very important thing is that an infinite transcendental god he doesn't need anything. So he couldn't will, choose, or create. Uh, so for that matter, I'm not an infinite god, let's say I'm a very mighty one. Okay? So, I, as a mighty god, I've chosen uh, to appeal for a group of people. Uh, some kind of tribe. Um, actually, I can choose to talk to all of the people, uh, all of the humans, uh, around the globe, but I've chosen a specific tribe. Why? I don't know, on account of their legs. And the tribe is called the Barmalians. Now, um, when I approach them, I need to choose a, I don't know, prophet, um, hoping that he will be charismatic and won't get hospitalized for his beliefs or killed. Um, so I choose one guy. Uh, and reveal myself as the god I believe who created everything, uh, and you, Barmalians, should believe in me. Oh, don't grovel! One thing I can't stand is people groveling. So, uh, as a bunch of humans, uh, they use spoken language, and actually, they'll probably need to keep chronicles of this uh, belief in their god, so they need a holy book. Good idea, O oh Lord! Of course it's a good idea! So I dictate my uh, perfect holy book to uh, their prophet. Uh, my holy book will be called the Sekatucha. So, um, let's see, what do I want to uh, appear in this book? Well, first of all, I need to choose whether I want uh, my tribe to have free will. I mean, as a god, I could make them believe in me, and it's not a problem, I mean, it's very simple. But it would be problematic, because in that case they have no choice of free will. Why is it important? Well, let's say uh, someone right now, and let's leave god out of it, um, sins according to the law and murders someone else, which is immoral, of course, the court of law will probably find him guilty if they have enough evidence and uh, punish him by, by jail or by death sentence in many countries. What if he is mentally ill? Well, in that case, most of the countries will let the court of law say that this person uh, can't be blamed for his actions because it wasn't his choice to murder, it was an effect of his illness. Returning to uh, my people, my religion. I have to give free will for, to the people because, you know, if everything is good and everyone is good and they stay in uh, heaven or Garden of Eden, actually, it would be chaotic. So, first of all, I will give them free will and uh, if I want them to live happily ever after, I will need to give them a set of laws. Now, uh, what kind of laws? They could, there could be moral laws, uh, like uh, thou, thou shall not uh, commit murder or thou shall not in jail bunnies. I don't know, I prefer it to be moral. Uh, and there may be practical laws, like um, thou shall not um, eat meat. Now, it could be uh, on moral grounds, it could be on the grounds of I just said so, which happens a lot in many religions. Um, why? Well, I'm a mighty god and I know better than you. Well, that's uh, a bit, uh, you know, it's amusing, but it's not good enough. 
Uh, but actually, probably there is a reason, and you just don't know it yet. Let's assume. So, I give you these uh, laws, and uh, beside laws, what else do I need to appear in this holy book of yours? Well, I need examples. Any uh, law book sets an example. It's very simple to say, thou shall not commit murder, but what is murder? Is murder... Uh, an intentional thing uh, is an accident considered a murder is killing your enemy during war considered a murder so you need to set examples um, now I can as a god if I created the world I could have created a perfect world and which will be all good and uh, no wars etc but we're dealing with humans and it's probably if humans are imperfect as they are it's probably not like that humans will probably fight over things so if they are going to fight wars I'll better set uh, moral examples I mean during wars you will not kill women and children for example that's a law I've decided uh, maybe it's moral grounds or you know mor morality is a soci sociological normative thing it's not uh, something we have set in our hearts, although many religious persons believe it is, but let's assume it's not. Well, so I have a few examples, um, and it's about uh, there was this war and someone killed a woman and he got punished. So it's an example of good versus bad. Now, also, I need people to believe in me and not the other gods, which are not true. How do I do this one? Well, I need a mythology and I need, uh, um, you know, I need stories. And they'll better be interesting. I mean, Little Red Riding Hood is not interesting without the wolf. Because good does not exist when you don't compare it with bad. So until now, we have moral laws, we have practical laws, we have... Um, examples, we have stories, and we have competition with other religions. Uh, now, besides that, there's the thing of worship. Why should I, as a god, a mighty god, need your squirming and your worship? Sorry, and don't apologize. Every time I try to talk to someone, it's sorry this and forgive me that and I'm not worthy. What are you doing now? I'm averting my eyes, O oh Lord. Well, don't. It's like those miserable psalms. They're so depressing. Now knock it off. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, I won't. But I think that people need uh, worship or any kind of physical contact doing something with uh, their God, approaching their God, just in order not to forget him. For that matter, I can say that uh, worshipping me would be smoking tobacco. It doesn't matter, it isn't important. Uh, I don't need your worship, you need your worship because you need to contact your God in order to be good. The whole thing about it is I want to give these chosen Barmalians people a set of laws and stories just to make their life um, easier, to make uh, them live a better, more justified life. Because I'm mighty and a good God after all. Uh, so, what have we learned? The book of Tsakatucha should contain laws on moral grounds, practical laws, laws about the way to worship me because you people need to contact me, uh, stories, interesting stories, with wars and evil and stuff, and competition with other gods. Well, the thing is, probably, I won't need a Tsakatucha. Uh, because there are such books, one example of which is the Bible. Now, the Bible is imperfect, it's definitely not perfect, and it has lots of mistakes. Uh, chapter after chapter, things are... the same story is told all over again differently, so it's probably an error. But let's say that I am a god, or I am a prophet, I want to found a religion. I will need to publish this book just to make people uh, believe in me and what I say. And probably the book will contain all these things I've mentioned before. So, um, actually, I think the Bible does its cause very good. It's not wonder, it's the 
greatest bestseller ever. Um, and, you know, I won't take anything out of the Bible. Uh, even the most immoral and uh, crazy stories like Concubine on the Hill, Pelegish uh, Bagiva, the last chapter of the Book of Judges, with the mass rape of a woman which gets cut to 12 pieces and stuff. Um, it's an example. It's an example of immorality to show what morality is. You know, my favorite book is uh, Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. It's a Russian book. Um, in which, in one chapter, uh, Matthew approaches the devil, Voland, and he calls him uh, the Prince of Darkness, with contempt. And the devil says, you can't use that com contempt when you call me the Prince of Darkness and Shadows, because look at my sword. If it hadn't laid a shadow on the ground, you wouldn't know it's three-dimensional. You wouldn't know it exists. So, you need shadows to see light, and um, you need evil to see what's good. So, actually, I do think the Bible is very close to perfect. That's my opinion. Now I invite you to play the same game, play God, and assume what strategy uh, would you uh, use if you were a God, the God, an infinite God, an almighty God, whatever you uh, assume you are. Uh, it's kind of fun. Just try it. So I'm waiting for your uh, examples and of course for your reactions on the philosophical errors I made during this video. Um, and of course you are all welcome to subscribe uh, to my videos and uh, to argue with me as much as you like. That's it.